we are running out of time. What are you going to do with the time you have left? I say that if you don't reposition yourself, you could miss the best time in your life, in this season of life. Because we have got to change the way we think. We have got to change the way we function. We have got to change the way we deal with issues. And the reason that you have to begin to reposition the way you think and the way you function and the way you feel is that we many times are stuck between the lines of limited thinking and limited people and limited ideas and limited philosophies and there's something creative down inside of you saying let there be. You need to walk into a situation where you've been locked up and tied up and tangled up and say let there be light, let there be healing, let there be books, let there be change in this city. You have tried four or five or six, seven, eight, nine, ten different things. Each you worked on 90 days or so and then said it doesn't work. How can you be a leader with a 90-day test? Of course it didn't work. You didn't stick to it long enough. You didn't fight hard enough. You didn't do what it took to win and rather than to correct it and get it right, you walked away from it and tried something else and for the last 10, 15 years of your life, you've been on the run from one thing to the next thing to the next thing trying to make all this stuff work. Stop it. Stand still. You have to have the courage to live with the pressure and the criticism. New levels bring new devils. You have to be tough. You have to be tough to be able to stand it. It's tough for keeping your kids encouraged while you secretly worry to death yourself. It's a tough for getting ready for a birthday and don't have a birthday gift. It's a tough for not being able to get the light bill paid and the water bill paid. It's tough. But what do we do with these moments? Do we just have them and go back home and wait for the next one? Almost like junkies getting a fix or smokers smoking a cigarette? Are we just habitually addicted to moments without being able to take that moment and use it strategically to do something in our lives? You do not have to accept it the way it is Somewhere down inside of you there is creativity. We've got to break out of the barriers and the limitations and get outside of the box. Something is about to happen in your life. You've got to take it one day at a time. And when you get to the end of the day, you say, I'm not finished, but I've done everything that I was supposed to do for that day, for that time, for that season. Your season is shifting. You will be able to do now in a way that you have never been able to do it before. You haven't sung your best song. You haven't preached your best sermon yet. You haven't thought your greatest thought. You haven't written down your greatest idea. You haven't dreamed your best dream. Baby, you haven't laughed your best laugh. You haven't had your greatest day yet. It's somewhere inside of you. You're a miracle looking for a place to happen. You have got all kinds of things locked up inside of you that are about to come forth for such a time as this. The time is right. The stage is set. The conditions are in order. And something awesome is about to happen in your life. Don't let anybody tell you you're too young. Don't let anybody tell you you're too old. Don't let anybody tell you you're finished. Every day you wake up in the morning, it's a sign. The best is yet to come. This is my moment, and I am determined to live it. The mind is the battleground. The fight is in your mind. Are you ready for the next level? What are you going to do with the time you have left?